All right, so we're going to be going downstairs. Um, so these are stairs. We're going to these will all be carpeted till you get to the landing, and then I'm going to uh, porcelain tile. We got some porcelain tile from Spain. I had it left over from a condo remodel that I did. So here I'm going to go down to the steps here. Let me see. I better turn this light on. Okay, so. The cart, like I said, the steps are going to be carpeted, and this is going to be all. This is a 25 by 13 room. This is going to be all rubber floor, a gym, like a commercial gym floor. Um, so all this has got most of it's already painted, but it's going to be. Karen's going to have her yoga over there in that corner, probably like 10 by 10. And then we'll have the squat rack set up here, and then the bench press and maybe some cardio equipment. And uh, this corner will have some shelves for equipment, uh, uh, possibly a flat screen. And then this wall will be uh, nine, nine or ten feet of mirrors and all dumbbell racks along that wall. So, go back here. Pretty much got this bathroom done. Except the uh, except the floor and a little bit of trim. Sorry, it's dark again. So anyway, I just put this wall board up. It's a like a tile board. So it's uh, pretty nice. It turned out pretty nice. Um, and this uh, medicine cabinet. Just put that up. There's the uh, sink and new faucet. So. And we redid the cabinet. It was an old, dark wooden cabinet, and uh, Karen uh, cleaned it, primed it, and painted it. She did a great job. So, and this is going to be a nice. Um, we'll probably put a nice vinyl in here. So, because the tile is too cold in the basement. So, anyway, that's this basement bathroom. So we'll go back here. This is a nine by four foot closet. I just um, put the shelves back in after we painted it. Kind of brought all the paint in from the garage. It's going to get cold. I didn't want anything freezing. So this is kind of our left paint to do and some of our caulking and stuff I didn't want to freeze. So. And this is what we call the tin room because after Karen took off the wallpaper, it was metallic. It looked like tin. Uh, so anyway, we primed this a couple of times already, and uh, we're ready now to paint it for the finished coat. So, probably got one more coat of primer. It was real, real dark green on these two walls where I'm showing you now. And this one was like a very metallic, metal looking paint. So, and I'm going to show you, let me turn it. Uh, the utility room light on here. Sorry about panning around like that. This here is a newfangled heat pump water heater. It has it all. It takes ambient air temperature and runs it through a compressor, just like your regular HVAC system. But um, very, very efficient. It's double insulated, and as you can see here, you can run it on. I hope this focuses. I don't think it's gonna. Anyway. There you go. You can run it on efficiency, which is a blend of the hybrid, which means just heat pump and, and electric on any other higher demands. And then the hybrid itself is just heat pump, so that's the most efficient way to run it. And then you go to your electric. That is just the two elements. It's a 240 volt two element 50 gallon hot water heater. And then when you put it on vacation like it is now, it is um it just keeps it at 48 degrees so and there's the water softener and let's see here the last bedroom is where we are going to set up uh the reloading and gun safes and uh kind of just a hobby room we're going to kind of paint this cool colors and keep it bright so it's this is all prime ceilings all done uh, the uh, 
closet is all done. I've all painted, so I gotta put the shelf back up, but it's all painted right there in the corner. So and this room's about 15 by 13, so pretty good size room. There's the river and the gable farm. And that's it for about down here.